What's going on y'all? JT with a run of my HPI Trophy Truggy Flux. I'm running it stock out the box with the 15-2 pinion gear in it with a 4S LiPo. So we're going to um, see how this run performs out here. It's pretty cold here in Georgia. Get this running over here real quick. I did also stiffen the shocks and stuff on it as well. Cause they were they were too soft. <laughs> yeah, forms well. Forms just like I kind of remember some of the other ones, except for they were used. <laughs> Good use, but not bad use. But and it does come with a 15-2 pinion gear in it, so. It definitely, I think I had a 16 or 17 in there that might have been the sweet spot for the Truggy for top speed, but. Yeah, yeah I was crack fiending all night trying to run this. I really was. I was thinking about it. And I was gonna run it where I was gonna run it at and what I had to do for the day and my schedule's pretty much swamped, but I figured I would definitely get out and get this running. I'm gonna try to get this to the track tomorrow. They have an open day at the track so I can kind of get up there and run some cars. So I'm definitely gonna try to get there to run some cars, or at least one or two for an hour or so. Try to get some footage for you guys. It's gonna be kind of hard to film and drive at the same time, but y'all know we'll pull it off. I'll probably bring a couple of pinions with me tomorrow. Since it has a 15 in it, I may bring a 13 with me. Um, a 13, 14, 16, and 17. And I'll try to do different laps on that just to see because I think um, I think it's still going to be fine on the track as it is. But depends on the track and all this. It's a lot of things when you race, and I'll try to talk about that when I go to the track you need to consider. Uh, tires you're going to run, you know, oil in your shocks and also in your divs. It's good to talk to some local racers who race there all the time and tell you kind of what they run in their trucks, truggies, or whatever it may be um, to try to replicate their setup. But we'll get into that tomorrow. Ooh, oh, wow. Ooh, right into that tree. And I hit something. And it's cold out here and I probably knocked it loose. Let's see if we knock loose real quick. Well, nothing. It's just that servo. Um, I know I'm gonna need a stronger servo in here. 
I may do that tonight, y'all, because um, I want to get to the track tomorrow. Y'all hear it? And that servo goes bad on me, so. And it's definitely a cold one here in Georgia today. May not seem like it, but it is. It's uh, <laughs> cold for us. It's about 34 degrees, so. Make sure nobody walking up behind me. Now I'm wondering how this will perform with a 2200 kV motor in it. Even on forest, it should, it should still be good. But we'll see, we'll get to getting all that together and running. I can't remember my exact setup I had before, but. Yeah, HPI, please make a version two, do some upgrades on it, change out the hexes and stuff on it, which I did already. Adjustable motor mount, make it 6S capable, even though people may or may not run it on 6S. Actually, Forest is pretty good for it anyway. When you guys race, you don't race on 6S and 3S LiPo. Um, you're gonna race on 2 and 4S. <laughs> you know, you'd be jumping off the side of the track if you run 6S and 60, 70 miles per hour. It's gonna be kind of hard to control as well, so. I'm just trying to avoid them trash cans like it ain't nothing. Look at that. Hanging in there, hanging tight. Ooh, wow, right into the tree. <laughs> and we're okay. <laughs> Paying no attention. I hardly run in this area, so I'm not familiar. We're gonna go over here. Probably gonna stop this in a minute before I end up running into a tree in full throttle and can't even run it <laughs> tomorrow. All right, y'all. There's gonna be a run of this <laughs> before I end up running into one of these, uh, I call them Star Wars trees. <laughs> If y'all know what I'm talking about, y'all get the joke, uh, Empire Strikes Back. And I end up busting this all up and I can't even run on the track tomorrow. So, so far, so good. It's running real good. Like I said, I'm taking it to the track tomorrow. And we're going to get some running footage of it as well on the track. Uh, bring a couple of different um, pinion gears and stuff. I'm trying to sock out the boxy out performance. I may gear down just a little bit, but we'll see. And then we'll do a super speed Saturday next week. I'll probably try to do it tomorrow. My GPS wasn't charged. But anyway, guys, uh, so far, so good. I'm going to work on this servo that's definitely gonna need to be swapped out probably for the track but we'll see so don't forget to like subscribe stay tuned for more videos thanks for watching